And there's no greater feeling in the world than when you start building your self-esteem by doing what's, ho- doing what's right over doing what's easy. That means we can't build our self-esteem by talking to therapists all day long. You need action. The therapist can identify the issue, but now you need to show some area in your life where you have to show self-control. Because otherwise, you're not matching. Unfortunately, too many people. They spend way too much time in therapy, but no action. Okay, now it's time to act for action. This is why our sages said, Why are you crying out to me? Move. There's a time not to cry out anymore. There's a time to stop praying. And there's a time to show that you trust God. People sometimes are addicted to their prayers, but they're just using them. No, you have to move. You have to move also. You have to take the risk. You have to show your creator that you trust. That's ultimately how you build self-esteem. You have to show. It's okay to hurt a little bit. Pain will set you free, but avoiding pain will lead you to, to, to lose yourself. So remember how your relationship with failure, your relationship with pain must change must change. You have to start saying, I love doing uncomfortable things. If it's uncomfortable, I love it. You have to get used to doing uncomfortable things. It is the greatest reward in the world when you do something that you don't feel like doing. There's nothing greater than that reward. You know why? Because you prove to yourself that your mind is not your mood. I am not, my mind is not my mood. This is not my identity. I'm not a window waiting for the sun to come out so I could start running. I want, to, I want to run in the middle of the rain. I don't care about my mood. I'm not interested in my mood. I want to take action. That's ultimately how you build your self-esteem. When you build your self-esteem, that's going to lead you to real dopamine. What kind of dopamine do you think a person gets when he all of a sudden says he sees it's cold outside, it's raining, and he goes for a run anyway? You, th- you don't think that's going to give him, it's going to give him the same dopamine that he would get with any kind of drug. So you can see there's natural ways to get these dopamine, natural ways to get this, and it's called effort and breaking and doing what's right versus doing what's easy.